Hi. So, how long has it been? Let me check, actually, because I am really not sure how long it has been, but I'm pretty sure it has been too long. Hey, it has been a month. One month since I posted my last reaction, which was to episode 11. I... Uh, yeah. Sorry. This was not supposed to happen. We know that I took like a two week break. Of course that helped. Um, on the fact that it's been a month. And then the fact that like lovely writer ended basically and I kind of didn't want to get spoiled on the ending people were talking about it a lot because it j had just finished so I tried to finish that first and you know the why are you reactions are quite long so that's why I also was like I don't really have time let's focus on something else I have time now okay we have what like two episodes left I believe so like I'm not gonna you know keep dragging this out and I'm just gonna go ahead and react to episode 12 as we know, I did see a specific part from episode 12 during my episode 11 reaction because I unfortunately mixed up the links and I ended up watching a bit of like part 3 or 4, I don't quite remember, or 2, I don't know, um, of episode 12. So I'm going to know a bit of it, but that's basically it, like 10 minutes maybe. And the rest of the show is like completely, like the episode is completely new to me. Honestly, most of the episode is going to be new to me now because it has been a month and I don't remember anything. When I say anything, I mean anything. I don't remember like where we are at the, <laughs> on the show right now. But hopefully I'll be able to get back into it now once I watch the beginning. So <sighs> let's just go ahead and go straight into the episode. Okay, I need to watch this because I don't remember what happens. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi. Oh, yeah, that happened. Yeah, I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, how could I? Okay, everything is coming to me. It's like, yep, okay. Okay, we're in for a show. Of course. Hi. How are you? Oof, we really ignored. Okay. Oh God. So we're starting it off like this. I I don't watch this for a month and I come back to cry. Fun. Cool. All I needed. What are you doing? Oh. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna go well. Yep. Ouch. It's not even like I let it ring. He literally was like, mm -mm. he cut off that shit. Oh, yep. Well, at least we got the voicemail this time. I mean, after everything, yeah, it's kind of like, you know. Yeah. I agree. Like, I understand he's protecting him because of all the dad said and everything, but like, the le I would have at least, that's me, of course, but I would have at least been like, you know, your dad talked to me, he said this, this, and this, and honestly, I feel like it's for the best, even if that's like kind of it, you know, or like, I want to protect you, or like, you know, Anything like that. Give him the chance to also, like, have a say in this since it's his life too, you know? I feel like that's the least. I would want to, like, have the person I'm with tell me if my dad went to him and, like, threatened him with anything, you know? I would have been like, why the fuck did you not tell me? So I feel like, you know, that's the least. But it's a show. We know. Things need to happen. 
His arm muscles are crazy, by the way. Sorry. The thirsty comments will be coming. Especially now. It's been a month. I'm single. Like, I've been single. But I, I'm single now after this month, you know? So. And I'm sleepy. All that combined, it's gonna be very thirsty. Oh. Are we gonna tell? Did we wake up to our senses? Or am I gonna get disappointed? Oh god. Why the- why this again? The escalator, it's never good. First of all, he looks like his son. <laughs> Nothing against short people, but he looks kind of like his son. That was kind of funny to watch. Um, but yeah, that was a very bad attempt. Not, I don't believe he bought that in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> See? Oh god. Mm -mm. Yeah, no. That, no. The truth. Why is it that we as men usually tend to go immediately into pushing someone against the wall <laughs> or like punching them, pushing them to the side? What did he think he was doing in this situation? That's my thought process right now. Did he really think this was going to go anywhere? Hello? Mm -mm. See, no. I have no words for all the, this whole scene. I don't know what to tell you. Besides the fact that we don't do this. You should never do this. Cool, okay. We're very all over the place with this relationship right now, aren't we? We're playing tricks, then we're pushing each other against the wall, now we're kissing and showing nipples. All over. We're all over. Mm, he seems to be enjoying that a lot. Nod. Sir, what are you doing? Of course he's not, like, turned on. It was aggressive and against, kind of, not kinda, against as well. So, like, of course he's not turned on. His acting right now? Very good. 
Like extremely good. Like in making me feel it extremely well kind of good. How are we going to go this bad? Like, it, are they literally not just like this episode and the next one? Is 13 not the last? How the hell are we destroying their relationship in the last four last episode? How are we going to deal with this in the last episode? <laughs> Honestly, this seems like, even for me, like it was a, a time, a lo not a lifetime ago. It has been so long since I watched this episode. Yes, he did. Oh, my God. Okay. Like, the way he's even saying the words, like, the emotion in the words is incredible. Probably until now, one of the best performances I've seen, like, when it comes to, like, crying and, like, talking about a relationship and feelings, like, given by an actor in a BL, probably one of the top, like, performances I've seen. Crying for, like, a fake, like, show is, like, you know, not easy, but it's easier. Making it, like, sound in your throat like you're actually in pain and, like, having a hard time, like, saying the words, that's not easy. And he's doing that. Yeah, they gave us the fucking happy moments literally episodes ago, and now they're taking it all away. Cool. <sighs> Why? Good, good, good question. <sighs> Why are we not telling him? I don't remember the whole conversation with that, though, you know? I don't remember what he told him. I would not be able to have someone like that if I liked him, you know, have him on my lap like that, crying like that, and not like break down. So he's committed. Damn, how does he say that so easily? Not gonna lie, like, I understand that's the point, but you know, if I were him, I wouldn't trust him anymore. He's saying this too easily. <laughs> no emotion, I just cried my eyes out, I have snot, and like, you are so, like, s even smiling, kinda? I would have been like, okay, I cannot trust him anymore. Damn. That hurt even me. Like, ouch. Oh my god. Everything is going to shit. <laughs> Love that they didn't break character, because that was definitely not supposed to happen. Oh, come on. You deserve that hair right now. I 
I would have a really hard time trusting him again after this. Okay, he's cracking finally. I mean, at least that. He's plucked, and I understand. The quivering in the lips, everything like, oof, he really stepped it up this episode. I don't know what happened between these episodes, but he stepped it up when it comes to his acting. Until now, I have not seen him like this. I don't think he's taking it. My god. Oh my god. Even my heart is suffering here. Come on, man. How can you? Haven't we all looked extremely sexy and hunky in the shower while being extremely sad? This does not look like a commercial at all, no. He does not look hot at all, no. Cool. All good. Yep. Sure. Oh, hello. I, they are the, the two people that I like follow the most outside of the show, like on social media. And they're still like always together and it's like the cutest thing ever. So specifically now a month after literally only watching them on like Instagram, happy to see them back here <laughs> and being cute. These two have come a long way since the beginning, where they literally could not see each other. <clears throat> yep. Oh yes, the animations, I love that. I would watch the whole show like this. I, I think I've see, said that before, like I would watch the whole show just being animation. I mean, have you seen the man? I would also get shy holding his hands. I think there's a pretty normal reaction. See, I am this person in a relationship. I am the person that, like, imagines, imagines these kind of things. Yep. I play out the whole thing in my head. Which is why I get disappointed in relationships quite easily. <laughs> Oh, 
cool. I am watching animation being dirty. How was that playing out in your head? Fun, huh? Yeah. Oh. Close it off again. This has been an eventful episode for every single couple besides these two. Which is fun. <laughs> but only for other people and not for them. For me it has been fun because, you know, I like the fact that they're in a way closing off other relationships as well. But there's a mess. Yeah, that didn't happen, did it? Because a lot of people saw it. I love that their whole parts in, this, in these episodes, specifically this episode, have been like them looking up at the sky into a wall and thinking about their past instead of talking to each other and communicating, we know, which we know is something that these shows don't quite understand yet. Here we go again. A little montage, you know, just so that we remember that they're crying about each other. I believe the next part is the part that I have seen. Like the beginning. Part 3 was like the part that I mistakenly opened during episode 11. See, now you can imagine why I was very much like thinking, what the hell, why is this happening when I was watching episode 11? Because at that time, they were fine. So the fact that they suddenly were like this badly about bad about each other, I was kind of like, what is happening? Why are what what is happening? And then I realized, that, oh, I forgot the fact that he almost fainted. So yeah, I was very confused. Now it makes sense. Why are you here? Ha <laughs> ha. The way they even made it caps lock so that people understood the joke there. Love that. Well, he kind of always has been pale. You literally went to the beach and got no tan. <laughs> I don't know what you did. I mean, I know what you did. But it wasn't sun tanning, clearly. Wouldn't have said that myself, since you're pale. <laughs> yeah, it was somewhere around here that I stopped watching. Because I was basically like, why the hell is this happening? What is happening? Why is he so, like, against him being with him? And then I realized, oh, episode 12. Okay, makes sense. So I stopped. Around here, I stopped. Okay. Is this the turning point where they basically decide to talk to each other? <sighs> oh wait, is it not this part that has like some issues with the captions? <sighs> okay. People told me, I believe, that like a specific part, I believe it's this part of the episode has some issues with the captions, that I shouldn't watch it with the official links because there's an issue, and I forgot. 
I even asked for where to watch it on Twitter, but then I never watched it again and I was too late. Okay, hopefully it won't be that bad and I'll be able to understand still and we'll have to deal with the issues with the captions. Okay, I'm sorry. I totally forgot about that. But hopefully it won't be too bad. I don't think there has been one of these shows where there isn't a scene of one of them being sick and the other one cleaning him off. I really think there has not been one scene where this doesn't happen. One show, I mean, where this doesn't happen. At least once it always does. I guess it's just part of the trope. Um. We love a good collarbone shot. I would have been laughing my ass off if someone did this to me. I'm so ticklish. This could not have been working well with me. Okay. His hand is not directly on his chest, so my, my god, it had been to be beating real fast. I mean, are we surprised that his heart is beating? First of all, thank god, he's alive. Second of all, you're literally touching his boob. <laughs> of course he's, his heart is beating. Who wouldn't be nervous if someone was touching them like that? There. You know. It's normal. Now he's gonna be like, mine also. Here you go. Yep. We love a good switcheroo when it comes to the heartbeats. <sighs> a flip-flop, haha. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Yep. It really is like that the captions come in extremely early. Okay. Well, this is almost like a spoiler now, you know. Okay, so we are okay with doing this again. Are we saying fuck you to dad? Because I agree. We should. Not fuck you. More like get used to it because it's not changing. I'm not gonna say fuck you to dad, specifically now that a lot of people get extremely angry at me when I say fuck you to the dad or am, um, you know, in any way, shape or form not completely morally, like, being okay with the dads, you know? So I'm very sorry to anyone who got offended by that. Oh god, what's gonna happen now? Okay! Him coming in, telling us all the tea that we need to know. Thank god, now he's going to know that it's because of his dad. Why do I feel like this is not good? Why do I feel like this is only like the beginning of shit happening with his dad? 
Oh god. Oh, imagine a discussion with that with the captions coming in like one hour beforehand. That's gonna be interesting. It is, isn't it? It's gonna happen, isn't it? Oh god. Well, he slept the whole ass day. He has be fight and until we meet again, PD and they sit at the same table together. Cause they deserve that energy. Oh, okay, so he just left him a text. Cool. That's a way. Okay. We have a pool. Why are we so bitter? Oh. Oh. Oh, no, he didn't even. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm getting the captions way too soon. Oh, my God. I love that I'm getting the caption so ahead. Call him out. Oh, he did not say you're fucking selfish. He's gonna get hit, isn't he? Yep. I expected that. I expected that. I'm getting anxious. <laughs> Okay, he's asking the good questions, like, do I look happy? Exactly. I... Parents really have, like, the most stupid idea of, like... There he goes again with the future. <sighs> Families can happen with same sex. Future and status can happen with same sex. Inheriting can happen with same sex. Yeah, lo saying that homosexual love is not steady when literally so many heterosexual people get divorced every single year, every single day, honey. You're only looking at the facts that you want to look at, and not at the facts that are given to you. Heterosexual people every single day have kids and then get divorced. Most of us at least don't have kids. <laughs> we can't really, unless we adopt or use a surrogate, which is all stuff that they make difficult for us. Okay. He's really saying, like, I don't... I can't do this anymore. 
he's asking him to let him be happy. That's damn. Isn't it sad to be a parent and have your kid beg you to be happy? Like, do you not feel like pure shit? Is your culture so ingrained in your mind you can't look at your own son and have a smidge of, like, shame for how you made him feel? That's what I think. Like, if culture is so real and, like, hardcore and religion is so hardcore and like social pressure is so hardcore it really pushes you into a monster i am i have no kids but i cannot imagine ever feeling that way and of course i've grown up in a different situation but i've also grown up with parents as specifically one parent who has said to me this or worse even you know and i still never would in my life, imagine myself being like that. And this is where I imagine to myself how people still are so manipulated into thinking like this that they think to themselves, we still have to be respectful and like we still have to shut off our like life to be respectful to our parents, even if they are like this. If your parents make you feel like this, you do not in any way, shape, or form have to mold yourself to this. And if you think that way, I'm very sorry that you've been really put in, in your life in a way that you feel like you have to feel like this. He's so small, I can't. He's wearing the necklace, so that's something. It doesn't really? Girl! I need to talk to you about your novel choices. What the hell? And in a way, ignore his. I love that, like, we tend to use that, like, I love him so much, I need to do this for him. But in reality, you're hurting that person. Because that person never asked you to do something for them. They never asked you to finish the relationship for them. Okay. We love a good kid dance. <sighs> the fact that this part is only, like, seven minutes long is scary me. Like, this is so short. What the hell are they giving us in these seven minutes? <laughs> you forgot the door was closed? Cool. Okay. <sighs> What's gonna happen? I cannot take this anymore.
เรานอนห้องข้างล่างอะสวยเตอร์มึงมานอนข้างบนเตอร์มึงโอเคปะเนี่ยโอเคจะไม่โอเคเนี่ยก็ตอนทนถามนี่แหละงั้นโชว์ Don't remind them every single time ไอ้ซนกูนอนกับมึงนะเออรู้แล้วย้ำยังเลยตามมาเออ they have they have to give us something yeah that super thing the the it's not really the best is it is he up there I don't know maybe I'm just keeping my hopes up too much but I feel like something has to be up there They wouldn't be giving us this for nothing, right? Like something has to be happening on the strip. I'm scared. Why am I scared? What is happening? The view is amazing. Not gonna lie. I knew it. 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 I mean, what would have been the point? There had to be something. He really said, "Bye, Dad. I'm going to the beach with my boyfriend." <laughs> really. We're really finishing the episode like this. Cool. So, yeah. Sorry for that whole thing with the captions. Didn't mean for that to happen. Totally, you totally told me, and I totally spaced out and, and forgot. Um, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah. Very excited for that. Not gonna lie, like we're going into the I believe last episode, and I'm very excited to see how they're going to finish this off. At least I'm hoping for us going into a happy ending. Hopefully, kinda. I don't know. So yeah, let's see. I guess. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this. Sorry for the wait, but at least I'm back now. Okay, so you can't judge me on that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.